then uh, as a test pilot I've, I've done a number of embarked uh, trials in the bark carrier so we were looking at very important when you're developing these advanced flight control technologies for the Joint Strike Fighter well obviously it's not just they're not just for landing ashore you need to be able to land at sea as well and the environment on a carrier is quite different for a number of reasons first of all the decks moving potentially in, in rough weather uh, and also the piloting task is quite different because you're much closer to, you've got superstructure you've got deck just uh, 30 feet below, beneath you and so um, for various reasons we, the, the gain of the response of the human being in that environment is quite different uh, and you need to be able to, to make sure the flight control software was, was going to be well suited for that environment too so we did a lot of testing on uh, both an HMS illustrious and invincible uh, flying the VAR carrier with the experimental flight control laws and testing uh, again different uh, flight control strategies and finding out which is going to work for the best so that we could then incorporate it in the Joint Strike Fighter. In addition to that we also looked at a new maneuver so one of the last jobs we did on the VAR carrier was looking at something for which the Harrier doesn't do which is which we call a ship rolling vertical landing. Uh, so a ship RVL or roller vertical landing is one where you've got a very low forward speed. You're nearly all supported on the engine, um, about 60 knots airspeed or so. Uh, but there's enough wing lift at that speed, you know, uh, in the thousands of pounds of wing lift, to be able to bring back some useful additional payload that you wouldn't be able to carry if you had to do a pure vertical landing without any wing lift at all. Uh, and this is a manoeuvre that was, as I said, brand new uh, to the Joint Strike Fighter. We, we don't do it in the Harrier. Uh, we do land-based RVLs, but not on a ship, and there's a lot of, um, I could talk for a long time if you wanted me to, a lot of ins and outs about how to do it, and particularly if the deck's moving a lot, how to control the aeroplane uh, safely down onto the deck. And so we simulated that in the VARC carrier with flight control uh, uh, response, just like the Joint Strike Fighter, so we could look at the task and look at different visual landing aids, uh, different ways for the pilot to guide himself down using a, uh, a visual landing aid that we came up with, a, um, uh, a, a guidance system in lights essentially, that we, that we invented for the task and we evaluated that as well. And that was actually the last thing that the VARC carrier did before it was retired uh, at the end of 19, uh, 2008, um, after a, a long and distinguished research career and a job well done. So did you enjoy being part of that programme? Yeah, certainly. I mean, again, I've, I've been very fortunate uh, in what I've had to do as a test pilot, um, uh, a, a cutting edge research project over many years, which I was fortunate to become the focus of. I, I was able to stick around long enough uh, and run the program both as a project pilot in the late 90s, but then as, as the uh, senior development pilot as a civilian. Um, it was tremendously rewarding because not only was the, the, the science interesting and exciting, and the, a, a research program of that nature is very interesting to be involved with, but it was also a very important program. We knew what, was, what, the, what we were developing was going to go into the Joint Strike Fighter, into the F-35 and be flown by, by young pilots for years to come. Uh, hopefully keeping them safe or, or not. I mean, many people have crashed airplanes in the past and the harder the airplane is to fly, the more people you lose through the life of the airplane. And so uh, the work we were doing was, it was important. So it was, it was challenging from that perspective. It was fascinating uh, and it was a uh, very rewarding uh, flight test uh, research at, at the cutting edge. So uh, I've been very, very fortunate.